to JNC Creates. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I really do appreciate it. Yesterday I made my first floating card as per a Jennifer Maguire video. So, and I did exactly what she did with the rectangle in the middle and then you can still see the background through them all. And this one I double foam taped it so it stands up a bit prouder. This background is one that I foiled with a stamp and a laminator and this is just a silver embossed background. This is a tonic die and this die here comes from Tim Holt's Tribal Words, I think. So, I'm going to try and do another one. Okay, so what did I use? I forget to, to get it out. Where is it? So, this is a Simply Cards and Papercraft issue 191 stamp set. You also get the die, corresponding dies for some of them. By the way, if you hear a loud noise or anything, I am trying to do this with TJ sitting right beside me on the computer. He's got his headphones on, but so as I don't hear his computer. And he's just been doing doctor. I cut myself and he plastered me all up. And now he's looking on the floor for something. <laughs> So anyway, yes, um, this stamp, I actually stamped to the big one and this one with the leaves and I stamped then this set of leaves. I just did them multiple times. I also did the heart, this is the layer he put on it, but um, I finished that at another time. I'm going to run this section here through my scan and cut because it's quicker than doing all the die cutting I think and so um, the one thing I wanted to show you was these are my alcohol markers these ones here are spectrum noir that I have had for at least eight years these ones here are all Touch 5 markers from AliExpress and these ones in this corner are tonic markers and I have to say these don't last very long but I love the nibs these are just about the same and these have lasted the longest but the older they are the worse the nibs are getting so that's why And I have done my swatches in a very rough way, <laughs> just to give me an idea of what colours I'm using. So I'll be back in a jiff. Okay, so we're back again. I've cut out the flowers and I've arranged them. I was going to record it, but it took forever for me to decide what way I wanted to do them. So. Take my earphones out before I forget. Makes everything sound funny when you keep your earphones in and you're not listening to anything. So I actually have a piece of acetate cut to 4 by 5 5 and that is to give me an idea of what would be in my card frame and what wouldn't. So I'm going to remove that now. Okay, and try not to move everything too much. And then I have a piece of the glab press and seal. And I'm going to put it on top of that. Okay, I'm hoping it'll stick to it so that I can cut it, set it on top a piece of card and cut it
I'm giving them a good firm press because it's it needs to stick right. So a piece of card. I can't even remember how I did this yesterday. Okay, so I decided which piece of card was going to be my background. This is a Brushu um, Nuvo Shimmer Powders one, I believe. But it could be a pixie one too, so one never knows. And that's going to go behind there. And what I'm going to do is sort of see where I'm going with it. And then put tape on it. Put um, my double sided sticky on it. I want to move that a little bit out. So I do just a little bit like that. You see? So I'm going to go and stick sticky on it and come back. Okay, I changed my mind because I put double sided double layer of foam on that and a single layer on that and I want to do it again so what I did was draw around my I actually folded over my press and seal and drew around it and cut off the bits I won't be needing hopefully Now I'm going to cut the middle out of it with a... Uh, I wanted to try a circle, didn't I? Okay. Those are just AliExpress stitch circles. And this is a... What do you call it? Surprise Creations. Nice. So I might try that. I want to cut that out because I didn't want to put two layers of foam tape on it and send it through my machine. So I'm just doing whatever I can to make it work for me. Okay. So when I cut it out, I shall put my sticky on it. That's the plan anyway. So I've cut it out and I've pulled off the front bit from the back bit and now I'm going to put my foam tape on the back of this and then I shall come back and stick it on there. So I've got my sticky on and I'm just going to... Oh, the sticky is so darn sticky, it's unreal. Um going to I'm going to take it off bit by bit and lay it onto the bit I've cut out. It takes a little bit of a process but it's worth it in the end. So line her up and off you go. Somebody came in there, but I don't know who it was. And I'm not looking around to see. This is a delicate process. Okay. Right. So, I'm going to take it off bit by bit and match it up all the way down. Okay? Um, then I'll show you. It. Right. I'm sticking down the last lot. It's so sticky, it's sticking before I get there. Right, and then did I not? There's a bit there not pull off. Oops, there's a few bits there not pull off. Oops, Jackie, you did a boo-boo. 
Right. So now it's just a case of easing off the press and see. Okay. Easy, I'm and squeezy. Jackie isn't Japanesey. There we go. Oops. Take your time. I sort of manhandled it a bit there. So then this is going on to my card base and a sentiment then there. And that's me done. There's a bit there that's... And if you've got anything that doesn't conform the way it should do, what do you do? You remove it. There's a wee bit of sticky sticking out there. I don't want that bit of sticky sticking out there. Right. So I'm going to do the same to the other one. And then we'll see what we're doing from there to turn them into cards this time. Right, did you? Okay, for card number one, I have taken a piece of card that is four by five and five eighths, and then a piece of patterned card that I find in my stash that is three and three quarters by five and three eighths. This is a Simon Says Stamp Thanks die from one of his kits. And I have cut it out, as you can see, from my center three times. But No, that's the wrong bit. This is the one that's going to go on here. And the plan was to put that across there, but as you can see, it gets lost. So I thought of either putting it there or putting a white one on top and putting it across. So I'm just going to see what I think. Might look better if I had it on the white, the actual white card base. I might feel a wee bit more comfortable about adding the white, and I might not. One never knows until one tries. Yeah. Okay. There, now, like that, or like that. No, I'm going to go with the white. I'm going to go with the white. Oops, I have a big blobby. Is anybody, if anybody's here from the UK, do you remember Noah Edmonds and Mr. Blobby? He was awesome whenever my kids were growing up. <laughs> right. I seem to have a little bit much on there. So let's remove some of it and put the white on top. There we go. I've got my new panda fur top on that. Oh my word, my grandson TJ loves it. He loves, loves, loves it. He loves the feel of it. I must get about 20 hugs a day whenever I wear it. And David says that's the only reason I wear it so much. He could be right. TJ isn't a hugger. When TJ comes in, the very first thing he does is give me a hug. But when he's leaving, 
he hates saying goodbye and he hates giving you hugs. Which I'm told are one of the characteristics of ADHD children. But one never knows. Right, I'm going to clean that before I put my pen back in. Just stick it in there. Right, and then I'm going to... Actually, I need it out again. And this is the one that I put the two layers of foam tape on, and I like it better for you can see right down into it. Okay. So I'm sticking that straight down on top of that there. Like that. And I will add some gems in a minute or two, whenever I'm sure we're ship shaping happening. Now for my other one, I have gone oops, with the <sighs> Simply my cards and paper craft magazine 178 and I'm going to stamp with love and best wishes. What I did was I took my piece of card and yes I did buy a new stamp positioner because my other one was falling apart and I do have the Tim Holtz bigger one but I don't like it. It's This one fits in my wee caddy here and um, I only use the big one whenever I have something that won't fit on here. So, yes, I took that, placed it where I want it, lightly drew a circle, and now I'm going to stamp it with some ink. I just don't know what colour I want yet. What about rich razzleberry? That looks... I think it might work. Oh yes. Oh yes, we're going bananas. In our pajamas today. So that's that bit done. off our stump properly. Try and keep our stump position okay for as long as we possibly can this time. Right, go you over there. Right. Now, how now you bring cow? Go down here. What about your lines? And I did only lightly draw these. <coughs> See? All gone. Now, this is the pernickety bit. Trying to get this back on in the right position. That's in the kitchen cooking. I can't get used to having somebody in the kitchen cooking. I don't cook. David cooks in our house. And most of the time everybody's eating at different times because of their jobs, etc. Um, so Ryan and Jade cook their own when I'm out. Until this lockdown shindig's over anyway. Although I must admit I wouldn't care if he stayed for his buys his own food because he's a vegan. And he washes up after them. 
which is definitely a plus on my side. Right, blither up, Jack, blither up. Right, so what we want now are some gems. This is going to be tricky, tricky, tricky. Tricky, 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 I think. What about these ones down here? What about those? I think we we'll go with these. Or, you know what I did want to use? I wanted to try and use them for them. One. Two. Three. Okay, and then I'm using not one lemon, so I need two of those. And then I need two more, two more, two more, two more. What about these ones? Ah, those will do right. You know what they say? We're not proud. There you go. And where's the other one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's my puppy toe? Ball flying across the floor. What should we try? Should we try some of these things that we've done? Let's see if we can get them off. Oh yes, they're on a big... Oh yes, right. Okay, stay, 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 stay. I don't want you off yet. Hold them things are sticky. Right, let's see if this can if we can work this. If we can work this in. Oops. They're sticky. They're sticky where I don't want it on these. Right, go. <laughs> Can't get it off my darn finger. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. I did myself an injury on my magnetic shim. I have the large Gemini and the large magnetic shim. So. I must see about washi taping it to see if it helps the way other people have done. Although that I've had it a couple of years now and that's the first time it's happened, so I think we're doing okay. Right. Purpley and hmm. Hmm. Oops in here. Let me see if I like these. No, this is generally the longest part of the card with me. Trying to decide what I'm making, what I'm putting on. I think I'll go with a bigger one and then maybe with this one. So the end of the previous video messed up so this is basically my finished cards this is the double foam taped one and this is the single one this is the double one the rectangle and this is the single one so I'm sorry that this video is a bit in and out and all over the place, but I'm doing the best I can and I'm trying to learn, so hopefully the next one will be better. So thank you for stopping by. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. 
I'm not doing this to make money, I'm doing this for fun. I just want to keep going. So, there we go. Them's today's two. So, till the next time, take care, stay safe, stay home. Jackie out.